Sveiki, brangiai! Pastarasis dvi savaitės mes Lietuvoje turim nuostabius svečius. Tai yra Džiut ir Veronika, kartu su savo žmona Veronika. Misionieriai atvykė iš Kuala Lampūro, Malaizijos. Jie taip pat turi su dvi dukras, kurios taip pat yra misionierės Slovakijoje. Ir Džiut ir Veronika jau 30 metų pilna tatu tarnauja katalikų bažnyčiai 40 šalių. Ir jų misija apima evangelizaciją, pamokslavimą, išgydimą ir išlaisvinimą. Ir šiandien aš pasikvečiau Džiut trumpam klausimėliai. So, I would like to ask you, Džiut, Christians and Halloween. Yeah. What do you think? Christians and Halloween is a very interesting topic, even as we come close to this time of um, All Saints and All Souls Day, November 1st and November 2nd. And um, the reality is this entire experience of these three days, uh, October 31st, November 1st, November 2nd, is all is very much a Christian tradition and um, um, it was called All Hallows Tide um, and Halloween is this uh, the night before All Saints Feast. Um, sadly much of um, the Christian tradition has been lost in the world and it has been claimed by the secular world and used for to promote a different purpose. So the origin is very much Christian, Catholic. To celebrate uh, on November 1st, all the saints triumphant in heaven and on November 2nd to, to celebrate all those who are in purgatory, the dead in purgatory but somehow um, because we have not lived fully this experience of November 1st All Saints and All Souls November 2nd the world has taken this and changed it for itself um, and used it to promote um, uh, a different agenda which is um, um, to promote the celebration of um, uh, Halloween in the context of celebrating um, maybe demonic or evil or cultic experiences. So I think as, as church, we need to reclaim this back. We need to take it back. And that can only happen um, if we live fully this um, this. All Hallows Tide, October 31st, November 1st and November 2nd, to live it fully. So in 2017, I participated in, uh, I was sent by my bishop for the Vatican School of Exorcism. And they teach us very carefully in this Vatican School of Exorcism that especially during Halloween, there's an increase of occultic practices that increases worldwide black masses and many other phenomena where covens of witches gather together to call upon demonic powers and so it is very important as church uh, we need to reclaim back this um, this time especially of halloween claim it back for the church again and we can do this in two ways. Number one, um, not basically to fo um, forbid this um, the children, but maybe to teach the children to dress up like saints rather than to dress up in a, with using demonic or um, with um, um, witches as witches or or um, very uh, gruesome figures. Um, but to dress up as saints, to dress up like Francis of Assisi or Therese of Lisieux or, or Therese of Avila or Mother Teresa or something like that, to dress up um, as, as saints. 
And the second is the church can pray and um, begin to intercede, especially for those who have in their lives opened the door to these kind of spiritual forces, that they would have the grace to close the door and for people who have opened the door to be protected from the effect of the evil spirit in their life. And so as church, we need to fight against this by claiming it back and taking back so that we can experience this freedom as church and for our people as well. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.